there's usually there's the one person who wants the fight, and there's the other person who's like, hey, not in front of the kids, not don't. Can we not do this now? Can we, you know? Can but we do, do you it find later? that the person who's the quiet one is usually the one who's responsible for the fight in the first place? One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Just go. 100%. I got it. One hundred percent. It's like it. I, we, this isn't. It doesn't need to be this big a deal. Can we just talk? And the other person, the person who's hurt, deservedly, is like, what do you mean? Uh... My wife put a curling iron that was lightning hot on the dresser to keep it away from the kids. I, she put it next to my wallet, so I go to move it. I mean, scalds my hand. I start swearing. Like, what? So why would you fight? do that? This is what you fight about. Yeah. Huge fight. Yeah. Basically, me and she's like, stop fighting, and I go, you're saying stop fighting because this is your fault. Right. You. Yeah. You did this. And so all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, my oldest daughter was like, hey, stop fighting. And it was almost like that. It was like a movie, like Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's suddenly like, and all of a what, sudden what I was like, doing to I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I had to pick her up and go, Mommy and Daddy aren't fighting. My father would storm. My mother would put him in his place. And then he'd like go out and sit in the yard and have a schlitz. Really? Like that's how those fights end. That's great. He'd have a cigarette and a schlitz in the backyard. My mother would be like, it's okay, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah.